Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be covering how to mine Ethereum on the Zephyrus G15 2021 model, which will be giving you a hash rate and performance using the RTX 3070. So cutting right to the chase with the stable configurations that I get, I get around 48 hertz, megahertz per second, which is not bad about a profitability at these current rates of about 20 bucks a month. So depending on if you're multitasking, such as me recording this video with OBS at the same time, trying to run the miner, you get some issues with your overclocking or whatnot. But when I am not using the computer and still able to lightly browse the internet, I can mine comfortably at that 48 megahertz per second speed. So let's talk about getting set up and running now. So those of you who are completely new to this, this will be a step-by-step -step process. And this is just my suggestion of what I found to be the easiest for just novice or beginners getting started with little to minimum configuration. So one of the things you'll start needing is join, typically needing is joining a pool. I prefer nano pool because it's quick and easy to set up an account and then quick and easy to follow their configuration and their suggestion to use NanoMiner. So when you click on this device, it basically states download NanoMiner and change the config file. So NanoPool is, I believe, connected with NanoMiner and they had built their miner off, I believe, a um, previous released Ethereum miner. But what you'll want to do to get the best results for this computer, which is the Zephyrus G15 with RTX 370 is to download the CUDA version and unzip that file. So once you do that, you'll get a Windows and several settings like this. What you'll want to do is basically change the config file. So here's how my setup is. I have a rig name. I have my email put in. I hid my wallet. But the main changes you'll want to do are setting the power limit to at least negative 50 or testing depending on what your device gets you stable Ethereum shares found, and then the mem core clocks I've typically found to be minus 200 and plus 400 here. So with that being said, let's take a look at how to make a wallet. One of the easiest things you could do is create the myetherwallet.com and then use this, which also has an app, to create your own key store and create your own wallet address so that in the configuration, you could go ahead and place that wallet address, and then you are basically good to go, ready to start mining. On this machine, I've been found able to even play video games and still be able to mine comfortably. I think the limits are tested, such as this creating OBS, recording a 1080p plus video at 60 frames per second. So that's something to keep in mind. For the most part, you can keep your rig on, keep it mining. The fans are going to blow a lot, but you sh should be able to work through Teams, Microsoft, browse the internet, and passively mine Ethereum. So with that being said, again, your final setup will want to look something like this with your wallet address and defaults to these config settings. Now, without setting the coin, it defaults to mining to Ethereum, which is what we're talking about here. You also have the option to mine altcoins as well from these listed here in Nanopool. Could even mine Ethereum Classic if you wanted to by setting your coin to be ETC. I'm gonna leave a link below also to the help file, which you can read through if you want to do any other configuration changes and things of that nature, such as mining Ethereum Classic or stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your hash rates are, what settings you do, and maybe even what miner or pool you guys prefer. See you guys in the next video. Take care.